Hey guys, what's up? This is Moody B123 coming today. So what I'm going to do in this video today is I'm going to show you how to wire up a camera slider that not only bounces back and forth by itself, hitting a switch and bouncing back and forth, but that also has speed control in it as well. Whenever I was trying to figure out how to do this, I could not find a video on this, and through digging, digging, and digging, I finally found my way to be able to to be able to wire this up and to make this work. So let me just demonstrate real quick what I'm talking about. And this is what I'm calling my rough draft, or just just to prove the concept that that I could do this. So I'm gonna plug in power, and you'll see it's gonna go down here, and it's gonna bump this switch, and it's automatically gonna send it back that way. And then here's my speed control, and I'll show you all that work. Okay, I just hit the switch down at that end. It's going to come down here. It's going to hit that, and I'm going to turn it down. Now I'm going to reach down here and hit this switch again. Just hitting the switch down at the other end of this camera slider, and I'm just changing the speed. One other thing that I'm going to add in that I haven't done yet. I'm going to get the part ordered this weekend, hopefully have it in early next week. But I'm also going to add into this system an intervalometer of sorts where I can tell it to turn on for half of a second, run for half of a second, then stop. And the unit that I'm going to buy will allow me to go up to 99 hours and 99 minutes. So it'll allow me to, to basically do whatever I want. So I can tell it to, to run for half of a second, stop. And stay that way for one second if I want, or 20 seconds, or 60 seconds, or an hour if I want. And once I get that built into the system, I'll show you how to do that also. But for now, I just want to show with, with it automatically bouncing back and forth and with speed control in this system. I am not an electrician. I have not studied electronics. So none, none of this is because I really know what I'm doing. There are three main websites that I looked at that really helped me, but the best thing was my brother who is an electrician and he deals with this kind of logic all the time. And so he's really helped me and being able to add in the other bit about the intervalometer is is definitely going to be because of him helping me. I would have no idea how to do it otherwise. So first of all, I want to show you these three websites. I'll have a link to them. This one really helped me to understand how the system works in the first place. And it's this askdesign.it, and I'll have a link in the description. Okay, that's more of a generic uh, website to really help to understand the idea. This post here on CheesyCam really helped me to kind of get going about understanding how to get it to bounce back and forth. And I'll have a link to this. And then what helped me to figure out how to make put speed control in it is this uh, post over here on electronics.stackexchange is the main one I use to really help me to finally get to to the final place and of course with my brother's help. Okay, so there are basically six main components to this system. Number one is the motor. Number two is your battery power source. Number three is this speed control is this PWM uh, pulse width modulator. There is this uh, triple pull double throw relay and that that's you can when you google this or amazon search or ebay search it's 3p dt relay and i'll put a link in the description also to to all of these parts and so this is a 3p dt relay so that's one two three four and then the other two main components are the switches is this one and then the one that's identical to this down on the other end and these are three pin momentary switches. They have a C, which is common, and then an NC, which is normally connected, and an NO, which is normally open. The motor I'm using is a 60 RPM, and then I bought all these little connections. All right, so I bought a bunch of these little quick connections. They make it easy to be able to stick wires in there, and then to be able to just screw that down and to hold the wire in place. Okay, that's a 3PDT right down there that's in my system. This is a 4P DT that I was going to use before I got that one. Uh, so this this part is actually the relay. This is what switches. And it's actually those little contacts right there switching back and forth. And this is the socket base that helps tremendously to be able to connect all these wires. You definitely 
want this with the socket base. And I got this up real close and I want to show you that as this thing runs, I want to show these, these contacts switching back and forth. I'm just physically hitting these switches to make that switch. You can see just that little part right there just barely going back and forth. Hit the switch. Hit the switch. Hit the switch. Okay, now here's the main diagram of what's happening. And I'm not going to go through how this is actually working in this video because I don't want this to get bogged down. But this is what's happening in this system. And probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to make just a separate standalone video that will discuss what's actually happening within this to make it bounce back and forth and where, well, just where all the components are able to work. The main thing is, though, whenever you turn this on, whenever you get this system going, the carriage needs to head to switch two when it's started to, to be working right. And if it's not headed to switch two when you start, all you're going to do is take these two wires and switch the poles. So if you have a black wire going to pole one and you have a red wire going to pole uh, two, you're going to switch those. And then that will head it in the right direction. If it goes to switch one first and hits switch one first, it's nothing's going to change and it's going to it's going to tear stuff up because the motor's just going to keep on turning that way. This is what I created for myself, me not being an electrician and um, originally not knowing what was going on here. And my brother does not like this being an electrician because he can look at this and know exactly what wires need to go where. This is what I did for myself to make this a lot easier. So what I did is I just took all six of those major components, the battery connection, the two switches, the motor itself, the speed controller, the PWM, and the relay. And I will attach both of these documents and I'll have a link to, to this video in the description so you can go and get these. What I mean when I say battery connection is I mean this little thing right here that I'm using to connect my battery to. And I've got positive and negative. And when you look at this, it's got a positive and negative right there. So on the negative side, you're going to have two wires physically coming out of the negative one. So one of those wires is going to go to the PWM. That's the speed control to the power minus. So here's my PWM. And on the back side right there, there's the power minus. So from the battery connection negative, you're going to have a wire that goes to the power minus on your PWM. The other wire on your battery connection from the negative is going to go to your switch one in C, normally closed. Now on these switches, they will say NC, NO, and C. And let me show you that. Okay, you can see right there, right at the end of my thumb, it says NC. Right there, it says NO, and right there, it says C. C stands for common, NO stands for normally open, and NC stands for normally connected. So the battery connection minus needs to connect up to your switch one normally connected, NC. Okay, on the battery connection plus, you're going to have three wires that come out of here. One is going to go to switch two common, one is going to go to your PWM power plus, and one is going to go to relay number seven. Okay, on my battery connection, you can see negative and positive here. There's two coming out of the negative and there's three coming out of the positive. There's this green, blue, and orange one. But this green one, you can see it comes off of here and it goes into right here on my socket base, which is for my relay. And you can see there's number seven. And on this socket base, you can see there's nine, eight, seven. And down there, you can see in the jumble of wires, there's a 10 and that one's 11. Over here, this is four, five, six, one, two, and then this one is three. All right, on the motor, you're going to have one coming from relay six, and you're going to have one coming from relay five. And it really does not matter where those two wires are at because it's a 50 50 chance that you have it right. So if it's not headed towards switch two at the beginning, 
then you're going to have to switch these two. So how do you know which one is switch two? Switch two is the one that does not have anything on, does not have a wire on NC and has a wire on NO. Switch one is the one that does not have a wire on NO, but does have a wire connected to NC. So that's how you know the difference between these two. Switch one, no wire on NO. Switch two, no wire on NC. Okay, so this is my switch two because you can see it connected there with C and NO and there's nothing on NC. And this is the one that's the switch that's on the far side from all the controls. So the wire runs in there, it runs down the full length inside of this rail and then it comes out right there for me to be able to bring it into my system. And then on your relay, on number one, there's not going to be a wire coming into that at all. On number two, you're going to have just a little piece of wire that's going to go from two up to six. It's just going to be a little piece because it's actually going from the relay up to itself, number six on the relay. Number three is going to go up to number five. Number four is going to go to number 11. From number five, you're going to have two wires coming out. One of those wires is going to go to the motor and one of those is this one back over here at three that was going to five. Okay, on six, it's gonna have two wires at six, one going to relay two, that's what that says there, and then uh, the other one's gonna be going up to the motor. On relay seven, one is gonna be going to the battery plus on the quick connect. Number eight is going to the PWM motor plus, power width, or pulse width modulator motor plus. Number nine, pulse width modulator motor negative. 10 is going to switch one common, C, and on 11 there's going to be two. You're going to have one going to relay four and one going to switch to NO. On the PWM, on the power plus, it's going to go to the battery plus connection. On power minus, it's going to go to the battery minus on the quick connection. This is not necessary probably, this one in 5404. But I saw one person recommend that, so I, I've considered putting that into the to the system here. But for now, I don't have it in mind. Motor plus, you're going to go to relay 8. And motor minus, you're going to go to relay 9. And I know that's a lot of information right there. But if you'll download this and just look at this as you wire this up, you'll know exactly where each wire has to go. There's no guesswork. You know that... From here, these two go to there, these three go to that place. And that connects this whole system in together. So that will allow this thing to move back and forth indefinitely, just continuously, perpetually, and with speed control. I'm starting kind of with an already built camera slider that already had the switches built in. So I'm not going to show you how to do that. There's tons of other videos to show how to do that part. What I want to do is show how to wire this thing to make it bounce back and forth with speed control. And probably next week or maybe a week after that, I'll have another video showing how to add in that extra bit of making it stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. This is Mooney B123 coming to you today. I hope that this helped. I hope that this gets you where you need to be on that. Thanks for watching today.